And we also have unbeaten heavyweight Johnny Fisher looking forward to a quick return to the ring. And that's after win number six back in August. Ladies and gentlemen, from the Oval Arena, Wembley, London, England, at live on the zone, we are set to go with a special heavyweight attraction. Set to make his ring walk from Znoima, Czech Republic, please welcome Dominic Musil. Here's a six foot five hard hitting bruiser. 
Romney. Right, you both know the rules of boxing, and I'll explain to you. One thing I will say, if I must have at all times, watch your resident give me any questions. Let's go to work. seven in the 18 month professional career of Johnny Fisher and these fight nights for him are becoming events within events as he goes straight on the front foot and attempts to get behind the jab and a single overhand right early on to try to get the attention and the respect of 31 year old Dominic Musia. Looking to put to good work Fisher, the sparring that he's done this year with Derek Chisora, as I said earlier in the build-up to his fight against Kubat Pulev, and now a right hand over the top shakes Musil, and Musil has to hold on. Musil went four rounds with David Adelaide in November of last year, but already inside the first minute here, holding on after a right hand on the top of the head from Johnny Fisher. Five of his six fights have finished inside the distance. Well, that's his honey shot, Mike, isn't it? That right hand over the top, Johnny Fisher. I want to watch Muzil in the build-up to this fight. I did think he had a slow jab. Pulls the shot out to the right hand over the top, and that's another lovely right hand by Johnny Fisher. Two in a row, landing again on a similar part of the head, and Muzil will do well to get to his feet here now. Will Marcus McDonald complete the camp? We're only halfway through the opening round. A test in a sense now for Fisher to hold on to his composure. Another right hand sends Musil down. Big, big trouble for the fighter from the Czech Republic. And this is building towards the quickest win of his career so far for Johnny Fisher. Oh, big right hand once again as Musil tries to catch him on the way in. Good shot to the body this time from Fisher. It looks as though the end is nigh here as Musil desperately tries to cover up. Referee Marcus McDonald, you can see there, he's looking on and he's seen enough. Just over two minutes gone in the opening round. The quickest win of his professional career so far for Johnny Fisher. And Wembley Arena erupts. Yes, there'll be tougher tests to come, but this will be a noisy and raucous journey following the path of this man, Johnny Fisher. Well, that was brutal, Mike, wasn't it? Once he had Muzil hurt, he did not let him off the hook. Beautiful right hand, like I said before. That is the honey shot for Johnny Fisher. Throws it really, really well. He takes his head off centre line. And it was the jab, the slow jab from Muzil, which allowed Johnny Fisher to let that huge right hand go. And though he's learning on the job, he's a work in progress with the tickets he sells and the way he approaches fights. It's going to be very, very exciting, Mike. And this time around, weighing his lightest yet at around 16 stone, 10 pounds, looking slightly sleeker and very early on, landing that right hand. And I have to say, Darren, that one of the elements that impressed me was the composure. Right towards the end, yes, there was a bit of rushed work, but before that, looking for those openings was very impressive. Yeah, he's learning on the job, like we say, but he fell short of that left hook there, but it was a cuffing right hand, right at the back of the head, and they really do scramble your senses, but you're right, I see Johnny looking at the corner, looking at Mark Tibb, looking at instructions, and that comes with experience. Like I say, that was only Johnny's seventh fight, but you can see how heavy-handed he is, really turning the hips through the shot, coming wide with the shot, round the left glove of the guard of Muzil, and you can see the damage it done. You've got to remember, Muzil weighing 260 pounds, he really is a huge guy. Yes, he's been stopped before, but that was a brutal finish by Johnny Fisher. Once he had him hurt, he did not let him off the hook. See it again, right round the side of that left glove. And you can see his eyes were all over the place, didn't know where he was, and the, the second one again, round the side of the head. And the referee doing the right thing there. There was still a few seconds to go on the round, and yeah, it was a good stoppage by the referee.
Ladies and gentlemen, referee Marcus McDonald calls a halt to this contest. The official time of the stoppage, two minutes and three seconds of round number one. Your winner, by TKO, he's still undefeated. The Rockford Bull, Johnny Fisher.